Thank you, David. Now, the Bowling Green Mint is a popular spot for those to socialize while also trying to make a little bit of extra cash. A recent upgrade now improves, no, rather provides more options for patrons to be a part of. Davis Wells tells us how this new technology can promote a strong economy for the Commonwealth. Earlier this morning, the Bowling Green Mint Gaming Hall had a ribbon cutting to highlight new hardware into their post-time race and sports lounge. You will notice new machines allowing you to take part in the new DraftKings Sportsbook program. The event brought several well-known faces and voices, including Kentucky Sports Radio host Matt Johns. Well, they're opening the uh, new DraftKings Sportsbook here. We've been a partner with DraftKings for about the last year. Uh, we've kind of gone to all the openings and excited to come to Bowling Green. We've always had a really good fan base and crowd here, and it was awesome to see all the people today. While the race and sports lounge opened at the end of 2021, having the ability to place sports wagers in a local facility adds even more offerings for residents to enjoy. And we built this room, Post Time Race and Sports Lounge, anticipating that at some point in the future we'd be able to offer sports wagering here. We've offered race wagering on simulcast horse racing here since the day we opened, and now as of today we're able to offer sports wagering as well. The Mint offers more than just a screen to place your wager. It's an ideal location for sports fans to race for an enjoyable retreat. So we've got a full bar here. We serve a full menu. We've got over 30 big screen TVs, including the video wall to our left here. Uh, just, it's an amazing facility. We offer simulcast racing every day of the week. We offer now sports betting and sports viewership here. With a new offering of sports wagers, Johns views this as a win for both residents and the economy. You know, I'd hoped when sports gambling came here that it would be something good for Kentucky. I think it's going to be double the tax revenue that they projected, which obviously obviously helps everyone. And also, I think I can speak for DraftKings, at least with, in my interactions with them, they've been very good in respecting and, and kind of being helpful to the state of Kentucky. Reporting in Bowling Green, Davis Wells, WBKO News.